Capricorns and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of March 16th guys. Starting out with my earthy signs guys let's just all take a deep breath slow and steady. Remember that fear and stress really isn't good for your immune system in general so just doing our best to ground ourselves out cut out the dross stay centered be logical be practical that's really what's being called for if any of you guys would are interested in even learning how to run healing energy to yourself for your mind your your any kind of stress levels or even physical levels i, I just discounted my energy healing class way below just if anybody's interested there it is but guys otherwise cleanse your space yeah includes your emotions and let's stay balanced. Now, this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. So please be sure to check all three, especially your Rising. And if this is your first time watching me, thank you so much. If it resonates or serves, please like, subscribe, comment down below, guys. I really do appreciate it. It really does help. You're probably going to see my dog somewhere in the back. All right, Capricorns. Let's take a deep breath in. Breathe out any stressful energy. Balance together. All right, let's get started. energy as Capricorn for the week of March. Ooh, 16th. Ooh, your, your cards are a bit choppy, Caps. <sighs> All right, I like it. Seven of Swords, Queen of Wands, the Four of Swords, the Four of Wands, the Lovers, the Page of Coins, and the Unity card, which is the higher fit in the traditional tarot. I'm just going to get actually one more clarity card really quickly for this. I'm like, do you see that? They're everywhere for you guys. Ooh, ooh. All right, so starting out, the Seven of Swords. Okay. Beginning of the week already, it's about bringing it back, Capricorn. We have the Seven of Swords. Like, look at no crazy decisions. Let's go back to the drawing board because whatever mental space that we're in, we're not seeing things clearly. We're not seeing it objectively. And they're saying, look at, look at everyone's motives. Even look at your motives. Am I doing this out of fear, lack, do you know, scarcity in some way? They're saying, no, no, no. See, whatever plans you're moving forward with, they need to be revised and just triple checked before I move forward. Nothing crazy, but just make sure we come back. Then we proceed. So whatever it is you're doing this week, whatever you're looking at, whether it's work, project, planning something, come back to the drawing board. Just because of all the energies, we're all connected. We're one big mass consciousness. So we just want to make sure that we're coming from a place of alignment, clarity, and really where where is this coming from? Get there, move forward. Queen of Wands. There is still things to be done this week, Capricorn, and it's going to require you not to worry so much about the minutia. How is it going to get done? When is it going to get done? Don't worry about that. Okay, you might be like, Angelique, I need to worry. Mm. There's some things that are in your control and there's some things that are not in control. What's in your control is how you feel, how you respond. But the Queen of Wands is extremely independent, extremely creative, and she's saying, look it. Keep your eye on the big picture. What it, What is it you're trying to manifest? What is your goals here? Keep your eyes there. Walk in that direction. Do what you can, and it promises the universe is going to provide you the people, the opportunities, the assistance in some way. Don't worry about the hell. It's none of your business. And keep moving forward. Stretch your wings. This is not a time to stop. The beginning of the week is a pause to double check and get right with yourself and then move forward. The Four of Swords says, look at, yeah, you're going to be doing a dance this week, Capricorn. Okay, where am I at? Where am I at? Okay, moving forward and then getting a little frazzled. Okay, come back, come back, come back. This week, make sure you get a lot of quality sleep, Capricorn. Make sure you're really grounding Mentally decompressing, watching Netflix is not mentally decompressing. Meditating, journaling, it's called energy transference, getting it out of the head and all the emotions out and onto a piece of paper. You can burn it once you're done. Four of Wands, a huge focus this week is actually going to be on relationships and the home, your foundation, your marriage, your family in some way. Don't worry, you're going to be good, Cap. That might be why you're like, ah, and I understand why. But the Four of Wands is saying, chill. As long as we're good, we're grounded, we're smart, common sense, you're fine. The abundance that you've been building, the foundation, the, the, the security that you've been working for, it ain't going nowhere. So you better watch this, which is your mind. Everything's going to be 
fine. You have the lover's card. So I really do feel and the unity card, which is the card of marriage. So I mean, I'm going to probably be speaking to a, a very small group of you Capricorns because this is general reading. And you have the Ace of Cups. Believe it or not, Caps, despite whatever is going around in the world, this is a really huge week focusing on your romantic partnerships, engagements, marriages, love, moving in with somebody. You might be thinking, oh my God, maybe I had something planned and what's going to happen now? Completely understand. You don't know. So please stop future tripping. I understand why that would come up. But it's not helping. I always say like, stressing is like praying for what you don't want. Because when you, man you manifest consistently, it never stops, right? And that's your dominant vibration. Everything could change in a day. Lots of things happen, guys. Breathe. Keep moving forward. The universe is going to clear everything out. And you're like, easy for you to say. Yeah, it is easy for you to say. But I'm telling you, there's nothing much more you can do. Anything else is going to just create more problems. We don't need any more of those. Guys, this is a beautiful week. Continue to build that home. Stay in that love. Stay with that family. Stay family focused. Remember the harmony. You create that in the home. That doesn't stop. While there's some things that we can't help that are stopping all around us, living, loving, aligning, healthily responding, healing, blessing, working, creativity, that does not stop. You have the page of coins. You guys are just learning a new way finding creative solutions. This is not a bad week. You have the balance card and the strength card. The balance card, guys, when we're emotionally heightened, this can create arguments and a lot of problems. Do your best. Don't make any rash decisions. Compromise in your relationship. The strength card in my reading tend to be about breakups. But it's also about finding that inner strength, not barking out. This week for you, Capricorn, before you make any kind of decision, and you're not a quick decision maker, so don't be reactive. They're saying, look it. There is a huge need for balance, compromise, communication, objectively looking at things. That doesn't mean identifying, forgiving, letting go, and waiting for perfect timing. Just do what you can. Do your best not to be critical or too harsh or judgmental this week, Capricorn, with yourself or with others. Do your best to cultivate compassion, love for yourself, patience. You know when you're little, your parents would be like, if you have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. Let's live by that. That includes to yourself. Sometimes when we get worked up, you know, and we're like, oh, we can't control something. We we get, you know, we lash and, and or we get reactive or, oh, you know, that's not the week for it. This is no reason in any week. Things are going to be great. Every time you feel kind of worked up, go back to the drawing board, align, and then move forward. This is a beautiful week. And sometimes, you know, there's it's life right? And we have to learn how to roll and move. And yours is going to be a beautiful unfoldment. But find that compromise, find that balance this week, Capricorn. And you're going to find all the learning and growth this week is a blessing and a strengthening to the foundation you have been working so hard to build. I hope this serves you. If anybody's interested in a more in-depth reading, a healing session, or learning how to do energy healing, my workshop is down below. Otherwise, have a beautiful week, guys. Stay in your light, raise your vibration, and I will see you next week for next week's readings.